Hello everybody, it's Diane. I am doing some more work on the music themed journals. I have um, done all of the coloring on the white pages as I showed in my previous video, but I finished the rest of them. And I have added fabric flips and laces to some of the pages. And I am working on adding pockets and other embellishments to some of the pages. Just remove these covers. I don't need them here. <clears throat> this one I'm not going to do anything to. I added the lace to the front, but no embellishments on this page. It's just too beautiful. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm going to do, but I just took my major pieces that I know I want to use and made sure that I add them in. So I'm going to put my belly band for this signature right here. And I made this belly band in one of my process videos. So I'm just going to sew down the edges of this belly band. I could glue. And that would be fine. In fact, I think maybe I will glue this. There's no reason to sew it. A lot of times I like to sew instead of glue on pockets and things because the glue takes up more space than the sewing, but I, do, I don't think that's going to be a problem for a belly band. I mean, yeah, it'll take up more space, but I don't need something really wide to go in this belly band. Make sure I can still close that. I don't want it too close to the fold. And I'll just put a largish card in there. I wonder if I could put that in. No, I don't want I don't want to put this in here because they're both collaged. That's too much busyness. This might be too wide. Oh, but no, it's not too wide. So I don't know if I'm going to put a stopper in. Sometimes I put something down here that this can tuck into so that it doesn't slide all the way through. Looks like I might want to do that. Sorry, I just knocked over my little jar that I stick my glue in. Okay, so that will probably get tucked in here. Let's just sew a little bit of lace to it or something. I've got this little piece of a velvet ribbon, the end of a velvet ribbon. I can just sew that on just for some embellishment. I'm going to cut the other end in the fishtail also. I don't even mind that it's kind of bent. Um, you know, if I was making a garment, I would iron that, but I don't mind the junkiness of a junk journal. This is going to be a more elegant junk journal, but it's still a junk journal. even a little crooked, but I don't mind. I think that's a perfect little tab there for that. Now this is going to be a pocket. I needed, oh, I've got my paper clip going right through the threads. That's not good. I'm not sure how that happened. I'm going to have to cut the thread. I'm just going to sew that again just to make sure the threads don't come loose. So this is one of the tags that I had made in one of my videos. 
and I added the word pleasure. Maybe she has a stifling life, but she finds pleasure in playing the piano. So she needed a place to go. So I'm going to make a little pocket with this scrap of paper and this scrap. This is a tall page, so I wanted to make the pocket taller. So I am going to sew this scrap to this, but first, um, got this little piece of silk. I could tuck that right in there to get caught into the sewing. And a little something else, I think. Let's see how this looks. I left that little bit on there so I could tuck it up in there. Yep. Hopefully I can catch them both in my stitching. There's a blue, this is a blue background paper so I put the white edge at the top so that it will contrast with the blue paper that it's being sewn to. I love this with the keyboard on it. This won't be a long video, I hope, because, well, it probably can't be, because my battery light is splashing already. I should have changed it before I started. Seems like I can only do one video per fresh battery. I guess my last video was long. I'm just going to use a straight stitch to sew this on. And again, I could have sewn this. There's plenty of room for that tag if I had... I mean glue, it would have fit in there. with that addition on there and I can just tuck her in there. Let's see what else we have to do in here. I added some trim there. Okay, here I have this little blue sack and I just inked around it, added this little scrapbook paper piece that says music and a little bit of lace. I just glued them on. I took a piece of um, cream colored cardstock and cut it to fit into there, made it into a tag shape, inked around it, put a hole in it, and then added this Mrs. Cog's image. So this is going to go here and I can glue it so that it will be a tuck spot. And I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac or my 3-in-1 glue for that to make sure it sticks because this paper is just slightly... No, it's not glossy. It's matte. I can use my white tacky glue. That'll be fine. I thought it was slightly glossy paper, but it's not. I 
that might be all I have prepared for right now. Yep. I still have the tags, the tabbed cards that I collaged on. I have to find something to do with them. I have a feeling they're going to be um, tuck spots because they're large. This one I could tuck into something. And then I took some of the larger advertising pieces from the vintage magazines and maybe I could tuck that into one of these. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's find a place for this. Could it be on the back without causing a problem? On the back of the signature? I really don't want to cover that paper up though. Paper's too pretty. Would it be too heavy on the vellum? I think that would be all right. I only have one of these left because I I made three of these large cards and I glued two of them in the other signatures as tuck spots. But I couldn't find a place to put one in this because of the paper. There was the paper I didn't want to cover up, so I didn't do that. That can go in there. Yeah, I think it was. Okay, let's see. There's one. So this belly band is going to go here. Sometimes it, it would go on the front page and sometimes it would go on the back. I didn't want to cover up the work I had done and this is a pretty simple pattern so I'm going to put it here. But we're gluing it. I had a little trouble getting it to stick down on the other one, so I'm going to use my 3-in-1. It might be because it's a heavier cardstock piece. Or it might have been because there's thread on the end. And I'll either put another music time card in there or some other card. But moving right along. Now on the other one, I put a pocket on this page. But again, I don't want to cover this. And I have a fabric flip here. So I, ha I found another place for that. Two of the signatures have that pretty vellum. And I only had two sheets of vellum per book. So I took a piece of typing paper and ran it through my printer with and printed um, tailor-made journals, antique, shabby background paper, something like that. So that's printed on typing paper. And of course, I wouldn't try to sew a pocket on that. That's a lot flimsier. Here's the pocket I'm going to make for this one, and it's going to go on this paper. This is going to be tucked behind, so I won't be able to, you know, tuck some lace in there, but I can add some to it.
time I get going on a video, I have to shed my jacket or sweater or whatever I happen to have on. Just a little bit of that on. Her foot wants to keep pushing those flower pieces around, so I had to keep lifting it and readjusting them. In case you were wondering why I was doing that, oh, that's just a scrap. Okay, I'm just going to glue this down. Let's make it easy. This one was a little bit shorter card, so I added that piece to it. Otherwise, they're made the same. So today's Saturday. I've spent quite a bit of time up here working on these. And I'll get to tuck another card behind there, so that'll be good, because I have plenty, plenty, plenty of cards to use. Um, so I've been working up here, um, finishing up the coloring of the pages and putting the pages into proper order, printing on these things, sewing on these. I already had these put together. Oh, I didn't sew it on, so I, I'm not committed to it. This is one of the other advertisements, and I could make that a, tux, a tuck instead of sewing it on. But again, that's really nice paper, but most of it shows. So I might use something else as a tuck spot. Maybe I'll find one of the Mrs. Cog's images. So here's an old-fashioned image where she's playing the piano, and I could tuck in this more modern, although it's retro, it's probably from the 50s, of her playing an organ. I could tuck that in there. That would be cute. My grandmother used to have an organ in her living room. I remember, she, she's the one that taught me how to play the piano. And she got an organ for Christmas one year or something when I was quite young. But I remember, I didn't get to play it very much, but on Thanksgivings, we would have Thanksgiving dinner at her house, which was just down the road from where we lived. And then they would go to my house after dinner and after dishes to watch home movies or slides or something. My dad always had a lot of those. And I would stay behind at Grandma's house and just play on the organ with nobody there. I probably wouldn't play it if, if people were there because I did, really didn't know. I didn't have any instruction on the foot pedals and all that stuff. But I sure had fun playing on that organ when nobody was there. Just me. Which 
I must have really wanted to do that because I love watching the home movies and video uh, slideshows and stuff like that. We didn't get to do it very often. It was such a big deal to set the projector up and the and the screen and everything. So in order for me to miss out on that, I must have really wanted to play that organ. Whoops. I'll do a straight stitch here. And now, I'm not very fond of organ music, and so I don't really care about playing the organ, but it was fun when I was a kid. My dad loves a good pipe organ. I went to a pipe organ concert with him a long time ago. I was a young adult, I think. Me and my mother and I, and I don't know who else went, if anybody, it might have just been the three of us. And I found it a little boring. I, I haven't told him that though. <laughs> All right, I'll probably do something to this. I'll add a tab or something to it, but I want to get on to the third signature first. I signed the papers yesterday to get my house listed. I was excited about it, and then I started just feeling so... Well, I was emotional when I was signing the papers. It is a huge thing, a huge, huge thing, and I'm doing it by myself, without my husband, obviously. And I second-guess myself all the time, and with a decision this huge, you know, Oh, this is a belly band, not a pocket. I almost sewed it on as a pocket. Pay attention. So I got pretty emotional when I was signing stuff. But then I felt really happy about it. And the realtor came over and took pictures. And then I started feeling unsure about it. Like, am I, am, is this really right? And I think it is. I need to find a smaller place. I need to get into a smaller place. But that's up a little high, but that's okay. You know, you know how it is when you're making a big decision. It's hard. But my house is very tidy because I had I came home and Anything that was still clutter, because I'm packing, I'm going through stuff and packing. So I kind of just hid stuff, hid stuff in drawers and whatnot. If I had to, it was if it was out where I needed to put it away, because I was in a hurry trying to get it all done before she came. Where was I going to put this? I'd rather put it here. I don't know why I had it on this side. I don't want to cover that up. So this is going to be a pocket, um, goes like that, and I didn't have an extra piece to put on it. Let me see if I can find one. That one's pretty. Maybe another piece of that silk, if I can find it. Maybe I, maybe the leftover piece was too small. Oh, here it is. That's big enough. I'm just going to use pinking shears on the edges because the bottom is pinked. trimming this excess off of this piece of lace. If the camera shuts down suddenly, it's just because the battery got tired.
sew this on. I mean glue. Glue, sew, glue, sew. My friend that I go to, she takes me to some different antique malls or flea markets and things like that, indoor ones, because um, she lives she lives about an hour from me, but we meet in the middle because that's where these things are that she knows about because that's her area. I don't go down that way. It's further south in Pennsylvania. So anyway, she said there are some new shops, like flea market type of shops. And so on Tuesday, I'm going to meet her down there, and she's going to show them to me. So I'm pretty excited to see what's there. I just finished listing the last of what I had to list as far as uh, flea market things that I picked up over the past season. And... D-stash stuff. I just got the last of that stuff listed yesterday. <laughs> and I don't plan on restocking any of it because, you know, I wasn't planning on going to flea markets until the weather gets warm, but I'm going to go see what's there. This one has my favorite in the tag. I just want to make sure it's going to fit in there. So if I come home on Tuesday with a few things, even if it's just a few things, I will show you. I kind of miss going to the flea markets. By the time spring comes, it's usually right around Easter that they open. And it's still cold out, but I go. By the time that comes around, I'm very anxious to be back at the flea market. Here's the other one, other vintage advertisement. That one's cute. Yes, I like that. Or this one. He's pining away because he wants to go to the Denver College of Music. He's got a violin and a sheet of music, and he's looking wistfully out the window. But I think I'm going to go with that one. Just add this little scrap of lace to the top, just to lighten it up a bit. It's quite dark. the other one on? Yeah, I think I did. it aside and like a, like on the other one I'll add a tab or something to that all right that's all I'm going to show you today because I am ready to go relax it is Saturday after all so I'm pleased with the progress that I've made today on these 
journals. On the on the other one, all I've done is I have all the pages colored and I've added the fabric flips and the laces. And of course I have some of the embellishments made, the ones that I did on video, but I haven't actually attached them. So I'm really liking these and uh, I hope that you're liking them. Once I get these done, then I'll get started on the other music ones that with that are going to be done with a digital kit and uh, can't wait to start getting get can't wait to get started on those because they will be different from these but I mean I'm enjoying the process of making these still have to figure out what I'm going to do with these in here all right thanks for watching and I will see you again bye bye